Hey guys, what's up? It's 8 Eric, and a couple of days ago, I actually posted a video about Dr. Disrespect, who's a very popular Twitch streamer. Um, him or his management company, whatever they are, Super Bam or whatever it's called, basically blocked my video worldwide where I was discussing the situation where he got banned from Twitch uh, and E3, and it was essentially deleted off the face of YouTube was blocked worldwide. Nobody could see it, and I made a video discussing how I felt about it, reaching out to him, kind of just a, a video response to the situation, because honestly, the video did not attack him, did not have any kind of ill will against it, no aggressiveness, no negativity or anything, and it was actually met with quite a bit of a response. Uh, right off the bat, uh, I want to let you guys know an update on it. It has been reinstated on YouTube, and... The video is back now for people to watch it. Now, I mentioned in my previous video that I didn't care if it was monetized or not, that I just wanted the video to be back online. So, sure enough, he did reinstate it, but he is claiming the money from it. And I know people are going to be like, hey, that's still kind of a snobby thing to do. <laughs> you know, that might be right, but honestly, I'm okay with that. I don't need the money as bad as he does, apparently. So if, if he wants to go ahead and claim the money from that video that's not really getting views anymore anyway, by all means, do it. The main the main factor of why I was so upset was because I would have much rather had been reached out by a cease and desist from his legal team or anybody representing him, you know. If, if somebody wanted a video taken down for whatever reason at any point, feel free to send a cease and desist do it through that way. Do it through private matters. Don't just up and block somebody. Again, if, if I really wanted to or if anybody really wanted to, you could just send a DMCA takedown or a, you know, a copyright strike on anybody's content that makes any kind of video using any kind of your content. You know, like what if somebody made a video critiquing me or criticizing me or even trolling me? Uh, as long as it's not showing private info, doxing me, giving name and address, work location, um, phone numbers, things like that, then I find it perfectly within the realm of fair use. You know, it's all open game. Sure, people might not like what people say about them, but that's the internet, right? So I feel as long as it's within any kind of transformative commentary, critique type of fair use, then it's more than allowed. Now, if somebody just straight up took your video and re-uploaded it without adding any kind of commentary or any kind of editing or any kind of transformative work to it, then that is where I believe copyright strikes and copy strikes and DMCA takedowns should follow suit from. So I do thank um, the people from Dr. Disrespect's party for releasing the video and having it up and having it able to be watched. Again, I didn't use any footage that was not already on websites that were giving news articles about it and covering this thing or podcasts that were much bigger and, you know, had a, a sizable audience that was up to like five times my own. Again, I mentioned guys like H3H3 talked about it and other people that I follow on here. So I do appreciate the video being allowed back on. And I, again, I don't care about the monetization or anything. So... <sighs> Time to move forward from this. I saw that, you know, there was a great response. Some of my friends like Tipster, Tipster Gaming. If you guys don't know Tipster, feel free to follow him down below. He usually follows stuff like this. I would say kind of like in the vein of, of a news commentator where he talks about stuff from like YouTube to Twitch to social media influencers and just gaming news and gaming and, and internet news actually in general. So Go ahead and give him a follow. I do appreciate him reaching out for that. I had a couple of other people reach out as well. Top Loaded Gaming also made a video about it. and I'll put it the link in the description. Uh, there was a podcast that reached out to me that I didn't get to respond to in time. But uh, fortunately, this video was released last night, actually, and I discovered it out of nowhere. Didn't get a notice or anything about it being reinstated. But again, I do appreciate everybody that had reached out on the matter um, it meant a lot actually to see people come together about this. I know there was also some negative feedback, people saying that I was just chasing clout. Honestly, I could give a crap about clout when it comes to a matter like this. The, the whole reason why I was even talking about it was the, the, the essence of fair use on a platform like YouTube is extremely 
critical. It's extremely important. Without it, then there really is no freedom of speech on this platform or anything. And this was a lot similar to the situation with the Fine Bros. I don't know if any of you guys are well aware, a few years ago, the Fine Bros had an incident where they were kind of like in hot water over trademarking reaction videos and the term react and all that. And they actually blocked a video of mine and that went ginormously huge. Like I was front page Reddit at one point that weekend and I gained so many thousands of subscribers. And this situation kind of reminded me of that. Thank God there wasn't as much drama behind it. Not enough back or forth. I do appreciate how speedily Dr. Disrespect's party actually handled the situation. But again, in the future, I would have thought, you know, maybe sending a cease and desist and asking me to take down a video for whatever reason would have been more sufficient. And this was a copy strike. Let's get this right. There was no invasion of privacy. I saw somebody asking me, saying, you know, on Twitter that maybe I violated privacy. There was none of that. There was no anything else except the fact that they were claiming a visual part of the video and saying that it was copyright infringement. So again, I just wanted to provide an update because I've had people asking me both on Twitter and on Instagram and also during my live streams recently what was going on with the situation with Dr. Disrespect. Well, I'm happy to say that it's over with. The video is back up again. Uh, he's claiming money on that, but that's fine. He can have it. Uh, hopefully there's no other problems in the future to avoid this situation. I think I might kind of steer away from doing commentary on personalities in the news. <laughs> Obviously streamers have very sensitive feelings and uh, I don't want to have to deal with any of that mess or anything. Plus we got to spread some positivity around here and stuff and build a better community and some rapport and stuff. So I just wanted you guys to know what was going on. I really do appreciate the support again from people who covered it, who tweeted, who responded, and everybody who just kind of thumbs up the video and everything and got it noticed. Thank you for helping it get fixed. I couldn't do any of this without you guys. Truly do appreciate each and every single one of you and thanks a lot. And if you're brand new for whatever reason, this is your first video watching on this channel. Um, hi. <laughs> I hope this wasn't the best of, uh, I mean, the worst of first impressions, but feel free to subscribe to the channel if you're brand new and uh, click the post notifications. I hate that I have to say that at the end of every video, but that's how YouTube is. Thanks a lot, as always, guys, for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day, and uh, peace out. Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8 Eric, and I am announcing the relaunch of my Twitch channel. It's twitch.tv forward slash the 8-Bit Eric Show. I've been streaming almost every night. I don't have a set schedule at this time, but 11 p.m. Central is kind of the sweet spot most nights. I'd love for you guys to come and join me. Feel free to give me a follow or even a Twitch Prime subscription. I got about 550 people following me on the channel as of this video, and as a special announcement for launching the Twitch channel back into action, I have a merch sale going on. That is right. You can check out 8-Bit Eric merch like the original 8-Bit Eric Slippin' Ain't Easy or the 8-Bit Eric Club t-shirt or even my 8-Bit Eric cheese face and the brand new 8-Bit E World Order t-shirt which has just dropped. Brand new merch drop. Guys, all you have to use is promo code twitch to get 10 percent off any of your orders so there is a special going on it's only this weekend though so hurry fast or else you're going to be paying that extra 10 percent either way it's awesome i really wanted to give back to you guys have a way for you guys to be able to buy merch i know some people are like eric is there any way to get your t-shirts outside of a convention because for the most part i just sell them at cons well now I have Teespring set up to sell not just t-shirts, but there's also like leggings and hoodies and phone cases and all sorts of other stuff. Feel free to give it a little look-see. I'm gonna put a link both to my Twitch and the merch shop down below. There's also merch underneath this actual YouTube video if you wanna click through that. And I really appreciate all the support and everything that you guys have given me throughout the years. I know things have been kind of like iffy iffy the past year or whatever but i'm getting back on track the channel is doing as good as ever the support the community everything building around it hashtag 8be nation hashtag positivity love you guys and i have speaking of cons i have some cons coming up so let's go ahead and talk about that